So last week we ended the show with Charlie and today he wanted to open up the show with you guys. Say hi, Charlie. Say hi. We want to start a blog, but how do you choose the perfect blog name? How do you choose a blog name that's easy, memorable, and catchy? I know that's something that a lot of people struggle with. You have this great idea, but how do you actually choose the perfect name? I think the first step is to figure out what exactly you want to write about on your blog. So what is your blog going to be about? And it's be, it'll be great if you can narrow down to maybe three, four, four max topics that you want to talk about. So make sure that you're choosing topics that you're passionate about, something that you can write about all the time because this blog is going to be a long-term goal. So obviously you want to make sure that you can talk about these topics for a long period of time. So after you have your blog topics, you want to make sure that you know exactly who you're going to be writing to. So who is your audience going to be? And it's important that you know who your audience is because this is going to affect your writing and your tone. You want to make sure that your name is going to be relatable to your audience. All right, now that you have your blog topic, something that you're passionate about, that you know that you can write about it all the time, and you know your audience, who your audience is going to be, now do you want your name to be what you're writing about? For example, if you wanted to be a mommy blogger, do you want to have mommy in the title of your blog? I know some people do this and some people don't want to do this. So the pros to doing this is people will know exactly what you're doing right away. The cons to doing this is that some people won't know what you're talking about. So when I say young yet wise, many people don't really know what I'm talking about. I mean, maybe from the wise, they know I'm going to be talking about wisdom or something wise, but that's all. I know some people are probably like, well, maybe you should put the name money in your name. But I wanted to leave my name open so that if I wanted to not just talk about money, I could have that option. I know sometimes there's mommy bloggers out there who, once their kids go off to college, they still have mommy in their title. And they're like, I kind of wish I didn't have mommy in there because I don't really write about mommy things anymore. Even though they're still a mom, they wish they, they would have branded, branded themselves with a different name. So just be aware of the two different options and which path you really want to go down. And when I started my blog, Young and Wise, I did not really do much research. And so when I go into interviews and people are like, tell me, how did you choose the name Young and Wise? I don't have this fancy answer. I wish I did have a fancy answer. Like, mm -hmm. well, you see, I was doing tons of research. I was going to the library and I found out that the meaning, the true meaning of the word wise, like, no, that's not what happened at all. Honestly, I found the name Young Yet Wise because I was listening to a Joe Budden's, one of Joe Budden's songs. And in his song, he says, when I met her, she was young yet wise and I was older and dumber. And I was like, hmm, she was younger and wiser. I like that. So then I started thinking of names young and wise, young but wise, young yet wise. And that's how I really came up with the name Young Yet Wise. All right, so I'm just going to quickly wrap this all up. After you know what you're going to write about, you know you're passionate about these three to four topics. You know that you want your name to be easy, you want it to be memorable, and you want it to be kind of simple and short so that people can remember what to type in the web browser. And you also know who your audience is so you know who your writing style is going to be, what your writing style is going to be. And maybe you're still struggling. After you've created a list of names, you're still not quite happy with them. Shopify has a great tool that you can use. I'm going to leave it in the description below. It's a business name generator. So if you were to type in the name young, it'll give you a whole bunch of other words that will go with the word young that maybe that you want to use for your blog. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please press the like button. Please subscribe and share it with all your friends. Until next time, I will see you guys next another week. episode of The Brand Chronicles. Bye.